the Canadian Diabetes Association presents What, When, Why? Understanding A1C. Let's start with what hemoglobin is. Hemoglobin is a protein found in the red blood cells of your blood. Red blood cells have many functions in the blood, one of which is to combine with blood sugar to form A1C. A1C is formed when sugar attaches to hemoglobin and becomes hemoglobin A1C, known as HbA1c, or simply A1c for short. Our bodies constantly make new red blood cells. They usually live for about three months before they disappear and are replaced with brand new ones. This cycle continues throughout our lives. What does an A1c test tell me? When your blood sugar level is higher, more sugar sticks to the hemoglobin and your A1c value is higher. When your blood sugar is lower, less sugar sticks to the hemoglobin, and your A1c value will then be lower. An A1c is a test that tells you the average of your blood sugars over the last two to three months, and is extra information about your blood sugar in addition to home blood glucose monitoring. What else does an A1c test tell my diabetes team about me? A1c gives you and your healthcare providers the information about your risk of developing diabetes complications, such as problems with your eyes or with your kidneys. What affects my A1c other than how I manage my blood sugars? Anything that affects your red blood cell count can affect your A1c. This would include significant blood loss such as a major surgery or receiving a blood transfusion. It is also important to know other medical conditions can affect A1c levels and certain ethnic populations will naturally have different levels as well. You can discuss all of this with your diabetes healthcare team. What is my A1c target? It is important that your A1c target is individualized to you. For most people living with type 1 or type 2 diabetes, the target A1c is less than 7%. Your healthcare provider will look at a number of factors when deciding what your target should be. Some patients with type 2 diabetes should aim for an A1c below 6.5% to reduce risk of eye and kidney disease. Other patients target closer to 8%, especially if they have a history of heart disease or other conditions that may decrease their lifespan. When should my A1c be tested? For most people with diabetes, A1c should be measured every three months to ensure that the A1c target is being met or maintained. For adults who are meeting their A1c targets and their diabetes is in good control, an A1c test should be done at least every six months. It is helpful to have your A1c test done before you meet with your doctor for your diabetes-focused visits so that you can review the test results together. Why does the A1c matter for managing my diabetes? By checking your A1c, your healthcare providers will get an overall idea of what your average blood sugar has been during the life of that red blood cell. A1c represents your blood sugar control over the past two to three months. Does the A1c replace the need to monitor my blood glucose at home? No, it doesn't. Since the A1c averages all your blood glucose levels over the past two to three months, while checking your blood at home with a blood glucose home monitor measures the amount of glucose in your blood at that exact moment. Home blood glucose results will go up and down throughout the day and will depend on what you eat, when you last ate, physical activity, medications, and stress, amongst other things. A1c versus home blood glucose monitoring. Why are the numbers different? The A1c and home blood glucose monitoring results differ because they are measured in two different units, kind of like pounds and kilograms, which both measure weight. A1c is measured as a percentage, while home blood glucose monitoring is measured using a unit called millimoles per liter. These two measures of blood glucose are both used to manage diabetes. A1c alone is used in those who don't need to perform a lot of blood glucose monitoring. Home blood glucose monitoring is used to make day-to-day -day decisions about diabetes management by both the healthcare professionals and people living with diabetes. Knowing your blood glucose levels can help you make decisions about the effects of food, activity, and medication.
by identifying highs and lows and taking action. By checking your blood glucose according to your individual monitoring pattern, along with testing your A1C every three months, you get a complete picture of the highs and lows of your blood glucose levels. How do you measure an A1C? The A1C is a lab test which will not change day to day, but with positive changes in daily activities it can improve. The A1C can be measured at any time of day and does not require fasting. Home blood glucose monitoring helps you decide, adjust, and treat your diabetes in the here and now.